any any trip that is booked uh, through IFR or instrument rated and basically manifest and whatnot, these trips would be logged per aircraft tail number. So the traffic, for the most part, the, the traffic would be logged, but the people on board would not be known to outsiders. So there's a there's a sense of anonymity or privacy for those who are traveling in a, in a 190, sorry, in a 91 situation. And I know that for Bitcoiners, uh, personal freedom and privacy is, I think, held very dearly by them, as it is for me. So that might be uh, one advantage that one would have going through that process. The other advantage, of course, is not having to go through the arduous security and lineup process, which is so prevalent today at U.S. airports. The, the, the problem that we're seeing right now in, in the commercial market is that as things have loosened post-pandemic, although we're arguably still in a pandemic world, the, the ability for airlines to ramp back up and create a system that pre-existed before the pandemic began is quite challenging and very difficult to achieve. And so from I haven't I haven't flown commercial since January 2020, but I'm told by those who do that it's a very painful exercise. Uh, there are many flights that are getting canceled last minute because they can't find crew to, to crew them because the crew did not have recurrent training. Um, they were kept on the payroll, but they didn't go through the recurrent training process during the last six months or a year. Uh, they're having problems getting uh, supply chains to uh, to service uh, the commercial market and so forth. So it's it's not a very pleasant situation right now, and I don't foresee it getting better anytime soon.